Hey guys, my name is Matt and I'm co-owner of The Tackle Room. Stay tuned for another great how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to rig a ballyhoo. This is a medium ballyhoo by Sinister, is the bait company. Mediums are probably the most common size we use, um, smalls or mediums. Um, the first thing you want to do with the ballyhoo is poke his eyes out. Uh, anything will work that you have that's about the diameter of the eye. Uh, a lot of people use arrow shafts um, or a stainless shaft or something like that will work. This is actually just a, a deboning tool that I'm going to use uh, just to get the eyeballs out. You want to go right to his eyes and just push. Uh, we do this so while you're dragging the ballyhoo, none of the eyes start to pop out. Uh, that will cause the ballyhoo to spin or sometimes lay on the side. So we want to eliminate the eyes for that reason. The next thing uh, I like to do is cut some of these fins off. Um, this also reduces drag and does away with the problem of one might throw out and mess you up. The next step is we want to get all the poop out of his belly. Uh, we do this because the poop has acid and the acids will break down his belly while you're dragging the ballyhoo. Uh, so we want to get all the poop out so we get as much dragging time out of the ballyhoo as possible. Uh, that's a pretty simple thing to do. You basically just run your fingers down the ballyhoo and get all that out you can. Once that's done, you can go ahead and come here and break his bill off. Come just kind of ahead of where his mouth is and break that. Pull that back slowly. And that's a little piece of skin that'll pull back. And it also creates a cup in here in the bottom of his bill that the mono lays in nice. The next step is to break his back a little bit. Some of these smaller baits don't break real easy and you don't want to be real forceful and destroy some of the meat. But give it a good squeeze across his backbone. And it, moving down each time a little bit more. I also like to give him an S. This will kind of loosen things up too. That way he swims nice. Now the next step is to actually put the rig in the ballyhoo. Um, right here I have a, a 9 aught ballyhoo rig. You want to lay this next to the ballyhoo where the pin will come out the soft place in his mouth, right here. So lay the rig up next to it where that pin is next to his mouth. And this is going to show I'll flip it over so we can see it better. This is going to show where the hook needs to come out at his belly. So I like to take my finger and mark it and give it a poke in his belly right there and this is going to give you a reference of where to come out at. Next we're going to put the hook inside the fish. You want to open his gills up and you can go in either side. Run the hook inside the fish. You're going to have to bend him a little bit because you don't want to tear any part of his belly. And you want to find that hole that you made as a reference point and bring the point out. And kind of shove all that back to where that weight's tucked up there, right under his gills. Next, you want to take your pin and shove that through his bottom and up through the top of his lip. Now, I'm going to show you how to use a spring. A lot of videos uh, demonstrate how to use copper wire or monel or rubber bands, which they work great, but for a beginner just starting out, sometimes the spring method's a little bit easier. Um, and all you do is slide the spring down, let that go over its face, 
the pin that is sticking out the top of his mouth catch the corner of this wire on the spring and start to twist until everything's twisted down tight next you would slide your lure down the mono and that would lock in right over top of this spring now your ballyhoo's ready to be pulled